Veteran Labor MP Anthony Byrne has resigned from a powerful parliamentary committee after admitting to branch stacking and misusing Commonwealth funded staff. But he's staying in Parliament for now. Federal Opposition Leader Anthony Albanese joins us now from Sydney. Mr Albanese, very good morning to you. Good morning, Michael. Good to be with you. Now, do you support Anthony Byrne staying in Parliament as a Labor MP? Well, yes, what he has said is that he'll wait for the IBAC processes to be concluded uh, before he determines his political future. And it is important that these independent processes are allowed to take their course, make recommendations. I note that the head of uh, IBAC, the Commissioner, uh, made comments about Anthony Byrne's uh, evidence uh, on when it was uh, concluded, uh, saying that he thanked him uh, for the honesty of his evidence in coming forward. What did you make of the evidence? Uh, uh, what, what do you make of him, firstly, admitting to brain stacking? Well, he's, he's put his hand up and said this is a wrong practice and it needs to be weeded out, and indeed it does. Mm. Uh, myself and Daniel Andrews last year intervened to suspend the operation of the entire Victorian branch uh, when some of these revelations came to light. Uh, in uh, the 60 Minutes program. We intervened within 24 hours. We expelled Adam Somurek. Uh, we took over the, the branch and appointed Steve Brax and Jenny Macklin, two people beyond reproach, to assess uh, the entire operation of the branch. They've made recommendations now to the National Executive that have been adopted. We took over all the pre-selections. We had one of the big four accounting firms do a complete audit of all of the membership of the branch to make sure that uh, only legitimate members were allowed to continue. And that process led to the exclusion of a whole range of members uh, from the membership list. You, you expelled Adam Somirak uh, for, for branch stacking a clear breach of party rules. Anthony Byrne has admitted on camera to doing the same thing. Why won't you expel him? Uh, so to be very clear, uh, the allegations against uh, Adam Somurek were of a very different nature and uh, went to uh, a behaviour and, and an attempt, uh, in his own words, uh, to essentially control uh, the Victorian branch. But Anthony Byrne has and breached so, party rules uh, we, by, 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 by branch taking. Uh, do, do you, so and, on that and, basis, and that, why is he staying in Parliament a as a Labor for, MP? No, no this, is, this is a matter for the Labor Party, separate to what well, IBAC does. He's breached party rules. No, You're he, the party leader. What action will you take against him? Well, we'll wait for the IBAC processes. But this is separate uh, to, to IBAC, Mr course. Albanese. This is, this is a party matter. He's breached party rules. You're that's the party leader. A, that, what action will you take against him? The party, the, the party has been suspended, Michael. The operations of the party remain uh, suspended I'm in terms about of Anthony pre-selections. I'm that's talking been, about Anthony Byrne. That's been the course. I, I, I know what you're talking about. From time to time, uh, there are uh, breaches of party rules and, and the processes uh, kick in uh, to deal with that. But uh, while IBAC is undertaking these investigations, it's important that they be allowed to take their course. What process is there for a kicking in for Anthony Byrne on, on, on branch stacking? Well, we'll await the IBAC why, why processes. Do you, excuse the interruption. Why, why do you need to wait, and Anthony Albanese? This is a party matter. Be because you have an independent uh, investigation, the party has been suspended, its operations. Uh, there are no one is benefit benefiting from branch stacking in Victoria as a result of the very strong action which was taken uh, by uh, Labor. And that compares with the Victorian branch of the Liberal Party that have seen Kevin Andrews lose his pre-selection as a result of branch stacking in that electorate, have seen people like Michael Sucker and others uh, continue to operate as ministers in the government, even though it's very clear that they've been engaged in branch stacking in the Victorian branch, uh, bringing the branch into disrepute with no action whatsoever. Okay. We took swift action. We intervened into the Victorian branch. Anthony Byrne has also admitted in, in his evidence to uh, misusing uh, Commonwealth funded staff to do factional work. Do you endorse that behaviour? Uh, no, I don't, uh, very clearly. And uh, finance uh, has uh, audit processes uh, that they undertake. Will you I'm refer sure it to the finance department? Will you refer that conduct to the finance department? The, f the finance department have an audit every month of every MP. That's mm. what Will they do. Will you be do. Pro uh, proactive though? 
as a leadership move, would you refer that behaviour to the finance they, department? Th they, they have proactive processes, Michael. Uh, every month, uh, they have a proactive process already, and that is in place. We have a, an independent uh, parliamentary uh, authority, uh, IPEA, uh, that examines uh, every dollar of expenditure of every MP uh, that has the power uh, to look at all of these matters. OK, just finally, very quickly, I know the Labor Party uh, has been making uh, a lot about what it argues is the lack of standards and integrity in the federal government and you're going to pursue Christian Porter when Parliament comes back. Won't those attacks on Christian Porter be blunted somewhat with Anthony Byrne still sitting as a Labor MP? Not at all, Michael. Uh, we want a National Anti-Corruption Commission uh, with teeth, with the power to have independent investigations. We support IBAC and its processes. We support the Independent Commission Against Corruption. That contrasts with a government that has failed to introduce a National Anti-Corruption Commission, that on the ACIC, uh, ACAC in, in New South Wales, that has dealt with Gladys Berejiklian, who I reminded you, uh, continued to sit at pre as Premier of New South Wales for a year after the revelations that occurred before her last ICAC appearance, uh, the Prime Minister's response was to criticise the ICAC. Uh, we support independent processes. We support integrity. We take action uh, when we see it, when we see issues. Uh, that's why uh, we've expelled a, a number of members. I, I expelled. John Setka from the Labor Party within weeks of becoming leader. I've intervened into the New South Wales branch uh, to change the rules and to change the structures there to weed out improper practices. We've intervened into the Victorian branch, which remains suspended from its operation like conferences and pre-selections. Uh, we have a, a very proud record of making sure that politics is cleaned up. It needs to be and that's why we need a strong national anti-corruption commission with the power to investigate on an independent basis where there's improper, pr improper okay. process. And people like Christian Porter received a million dollars of donations up to for a private legal matter against the ABC and won't tell us where that money came from. We'll leave it there. Anthony Albanese, thank you very much for your time this morning. Thanks very much, Michael.